Hey everyone, I'm Jason from Google's identity team. And I'm Marina from the Firebase team. This is the first of a series of videos where we'll be diving into the world of Android authentication using Firebase Authentication and Android's Credential Manager. First, we'll explain these concepts in more detail and cover the differences between sign-in and sign-up flows. Then, we'll explore how to seamlessly integrate federated sign-in solutions like Sign In with Google into your Android app, ensuring a smooth and secure user experience. Speaking of secure, we all know that it's important to keep your users' data safe and secure at all times. You need to ensure that only the right people can read, update, and delete data in your app. An authentication system allows your app to know who a user is, and based on that, to grant them the appropriate access to data. And today, we'll show you how you can do that. So let's start by understanding what Credential Manager is. Jason, the stage is yours. OK, let's break down what Android's Credential Manager is all about. Today, users are faced with a growing list of ways to sign into Android apps. To sign in, users have to always remember which method they used. Now, imagine a world where users are just presented with the relevant options to sign in, and you as a developer don't have to juggle different APIs for each login method you offer in your app. That's where Credential Manager comes in. Credential Manager is an Android API that acts as a single surface for all your authentication needs. Whether it's an existing email and password, pass keys, or federated logins like sign in with Google, Credential Manager handles it all through a single API. Here are some benefits of adding Android's Credential Manager to your app. Credential Manager allows users to sign into your app with a single tap, regardless of which method they used. It shows sign in methods relevant to that user directly on your sign in screen, so users can simply click the relevant account to sign in. This makes the sign-in process much faster and more convenient. Second, Credential Manager provides a consistent user interface for all authentication methods. It deduplicates multiple options for the same account, so users no longer need to remember which method they used or which one is right. Credential Manager also brings full support for passkeys to Android apps. Passkeys are an easier and more secure way to log in. They let users sign in with just their fingerprint, face scan, or screen lock. They're resistant against phishing attacks, and they're based on industry standards. You can learn more about passkeys by watching the video here. Credential Manager brings support for your preferred password manager to sign into your app. Password managers not only protect user credentials, but they also provide additional action and protections to keep users safe such as upgrading passwords to passkeys, alerting users to password reuse, and containing usage to affiliated apps and domains. As a developer, you can consolidate your sign-in logic into a single API, which reduces development overhead and maintenance efforts. New authentication functionality will be released through Credential Manager going forward. So in short, not only does Credential Manager simplify things for you as a developer, but it also provides a simpler and easier experience for your users. No matter how they choose to sign in, they'll be greeted with a familiar interface, like the one you see here, making the whole process a lot smoother. Now, let's understand what Firebase authentication is and how you can use Credential Manager to authenticate in Firebase. Back to you, Marina. Firebase authentication is a service that makes it easy for you to add authentication methods to your apps not only on Android, but also web, Flutter, Unity, and Apple platforms. So once users sign into your app on one of these platforms, they will be able to access their account on any other platform that your app is on. So in simpler terms, it's a service that helps you manage how users sign in and access your app securely across different platforms. We give you everything you need, a robust backend and easy to use SDKs. Firebase Authentication also works seamlessly with other Firebase services like Cloud Firestore and Cloud Storage. We offer many different authentication methods, as you can see here. Want to secure users' data without asking the user to provide signing details? No problem, just create a guest account with the anonymous method. Prefer phone number login or email and password? We've got you covered. And if you want to add federated signing solutions such as signing with Google, we'll help you with that as well. To use a federated identity provider with Firebase Authentication, first you have to allow the user to sign in with the provider of your choice. 
so you can obtain an ID token. And this is where Credential Manager comes in. As soon as the user opens an authentication screen on your app, they will be greeted with that familiar interface that Jason just showed you. And they can sign in with their Google accounts with just one tap. Once they sign in with their Google accounts, you get a credential object that you can use to create an ID token. And this is the token that you will use to sign the user into Firebase. So in short, you can use Firebase Auth and Credential Manager to provide a consistent and user-friendly experience for your users, like this one on the Notes app that I worked on. As soon as users navigate to the signing screen, I show them the Credential Manager. All they have to do is click on the Google account of their choice. And that's it, they're logged in. Under the hood, I've signed the user into Firebase and now I can take advantage of all the other services that Firebase offers. In fact, Firebase offers a lot of services. If you want to learn more about Firebase authentication, other Firebase services, and Credential Manager, we've linked the documentation pages below. There's also a Credential Manager Frequently Asked Questions page that provides answers to more detailed and specific questions. And from there, you'll find a link to provide feedback. You can share any issues you find or ideas for improving the Credential Manager API. In the next video of this series, you'll learn how to create signing and sign-up flows using Credential Manager and Firebase Auth. See you there.